So I went out here to RV Site Builder and I chose the do it the, the just the regular template, not the do it yourself. This is a template that they've already created. And then I uploaded a little image that I had created in Publisher. I would recommend that you get a graphic artist to get your logo the way that you want it. Um, this one is a little scratchy and I'd probably want something a little cleaner, a little crisper um, to put out here on my website. The other thing you can do that's really neat is you can change the colors. It looks like this is blue right now, but if I chose this purple, um, you'll see over here that this logo is going to change color from that blue over to the purple, and then it makes a little more sense. Now, if I wanted to move my logo, I just check this box, and then I can click and drag my logo up onto the panel. It's as easy as that. I can also change my navigators. Um, I could change this to a click button if I wanted to. I could just click that off button and you'll see that this will change from the click to a world um, map which I really like a lot better. So play with these a little bit up here. Um, I also like to do the melody keys for my navigation buttons so when I rest my mouse on them um, they'll actually light up like a keyboard. You see how they change that might be hard for you to see. Let me just scroll down so you can see that better. So when I'm scrolling through these keys, it just changes the color. This looks really slick. I'm really happy with the way this is all worked out. Um, when I'm finished, if I had a slogan or my company name or any of that stuff, um, I would, again, this XYZ, you can delete that by going back to step one and getting rid of it. Um, and that's why I don't type in the company name or any of that stuff, just for an FYI. So once I save all that information, then it's simply putting your page structure together. They give you links that are already here. You could move all of them over, or you can just move one at a time. Now we've got the home page, probably one in about us section. Um, what I really like is that I can make these custom. See on the right hand side it says add a new page. This could be Sarah's stuff. I can name it anything I want, and that is a great feature to have. The other thing that's um, new to RV Site Builder, and one of the reasons why I'm creating new videos, is because they've added these different components down here. They have a database component for newsletter, blogging, and FAQ. Um, so this is if you wanted to have more information given, if somebody wants emailed information, this will keep all of their database information intact great feature that's just uh, come out. So once I have all of these pages saved, you'll see this box here. It says no layout template. What that means is it's just going to give you blank pages to create your website, okay? If I had checked this, then it will pre-populate with a web page. I don't want to do that. I really want to have control over my web pages. So I'm just going to hold on to this for now. And I'm going to have save. And then I can move on to step five, which is all about WYSIWYG, which is, well, I'll tell you in a few minutes.